try something a little different. Instead of doing a pregnancy vlog this week because we still don't know what's going on until our next doctor's appointment, I figured we'd do a two-part series and I would tell you 10 of the things that I regret buying for my baby, which would be Hunter, and 10 things that I absolutely had to have. So stay tuned and we'll get started. a diaper warmer. Hunter, with Hunter, we never used it, ever. It just sat there, collected dust, I think it was about $20. Biggest mistake of your life. In the middle of the night, you don't have time to go and, you know, it's just a waste of money. The easiest thing is just rip open the box of the thing of wipes and just wipe them. They don't really care, you know, if it's cold or not. We never had a problem. So if it was a little too cold, the only thing that I would do um, is that you could warm it up in your hand a little bit. And you can do it that way. Second thing was a bottle warmer. With Hunter, we tried to use this. I found out that I ended up burning my fingers more than actually getting his bottle warm. Um, so we ended up just putting it in the microwave um, and we never had a problem. You know, a lot of people say that putting it in the microwave can cause heat spots um, and you'll end up burning them and everything. As long as you mix it through, you won't have any Whoops. The next thing was a changing table. That was the, probably the worst buy ever because you're not going... <laughs> Sorry, he wants to be in the video. You're not going to have time to put them on changing table. You're just going to change them wherever you feel that you have time. Wherever is the easiest place to change your baby, which is usually the floor, your bed, somewhere like that. And if you were to want some place to change them, I would suggest that you just get a dresser and put the changing pad on top of that instead of going out and actually buying a changing table and a dresser. It just saves a lot of time and they're going to grow out of it very fast. The fourth thing is a sterilizer. You know, the things you put in the microwave with some hot water and it's supposed to sterilize and steam all your bottles. Who uses that? <laughs> Who has time to use that? I know I didn't have time to use it. Um, personally, the dishwasher or washing your bottles by hand works just fine. <laughs> Baby shoes. They are so cute, so adorable. Hunter probably had like five or six pairs. Who wears them? I never put them on him. He doesn't walk. He doesn't need shoes. We always just got him cute little socks. Some of them have shoe prints on them. You know, some have fun designs. It's too hard to put little shoes on a squirming baby. The next one is a huge pack of one type of bottle. If, if you're breastfeeding, that's fine. But us, we weren't able to breastfeed, um, so we chose formula feeding. And we, I went out and bought a whole set of Tommy Tippy bottles because I read that they were the best bottles you could possibly buy and everything like that. And I was set, that's what we're going to give him. Well, <laughs> little did I know that I do not get to pick which bottles he uses. He's going to pick which ones. So we went out and bought all of those bottles. We probably had $100 worth of Tommy Tippy bottles. And he couldn't use them. Um, he actually ended up using Dr. Brown bottles when he was little. Um, and... You know, we just kind of go from there. Like, he taught us what he wanted. I think the best thing for you to do would be to go get, like, three different bottles. Three different bottles that you want to use or that you've read about. And just the little size ones, you know, like the four ounce bottles or whatever like that. And allow your baby to choose which one's the best before you go out and purchase a big box. The next thing that I think was one of the hardest things too is we got so many diapers in the wrong sizes we always thought like you know we went and got out like i think we got like three or four boxes of newborn diapers and we didn't even use them we got like a ton of ones a ton of twos and half these diapers we didn't even use so what i would do is just you know pick up a little pack and then go from there. what you can also do is what we did is you just take them back we took all our diapers back to Walmart, had no problem. You just switch them out for the size that you need. But I would definitely suggest just getting little packs at a time because you're not going to use them. 
I ended up wasting so many packs because I would open them and then we couldn't even finish the whole pack before he grew out of a size. The next thing I regret buying, which I I don't know if it's just because it was with Hunter, but we ended up getting two swings and Hunter never used them. So they just took up a lot of space in our house. Um, I'm talking about the big swings because we had a little swing that you put on the table and he loved it. You know, that one worked fine when he was a baby and everything. But the big swings, I don't know if they just created too much momentum or what, but he did not enjoy being in them. So they just sat in our room, sat in our living room, and just collected a bunch of junk in them because we never used them. The next thing would be a big high chair. And I say this because it takes up so much room and there's so little. And I know that our house isn't that big. And so I think the best thing that we have ever got is the little ones that just sit in the chairs next to you. You know, it just snaps onto the bottom. You could take it anywhere. Um, I take it to my mom's house when we go to her house. Um, we could take it to his grandma's house. We could take it anywhere. It'll, it'll easily fits in the car. It can just sit in the seat, sit in the back. You know, it's just really easy and really versatile. And I think with this baby, we're going to just buy another one. <laughs> and last but not least, I was so gung-ho and set that I was going to be breastfeeding that before Hunter came I went and bought everything you would possibly need to breastfeed. I bought packs and packs of uh, breast pads, I bought packs and packs of lanolin, I, I got nursing bras, I got nursing shirts, I got the whole kit and caboodle and after a week of nursing I couldn't nurse anymore and all that stuff just went to waste. Um, so what I think you should do, because when you're in the hospital, they'll give you little tubes of lanolin. They'll give you all the stuff you, you need to start. They'll give you breast pads. So what I really think that you should do is just, you know, go, you know, go with the flow. If you're going to breastfeed and everything, just get the stuff as you go rather than buying it all at, the, at once. Because... I didn't use it and it really it upsets me but you know some things there's just ways that you have a set plan in your head of what's going to happen and it doesn't happen I thought that I would share my 10 things that I regret buying so stay tuned next week for the 10 things I am so glad that I bought thanks guys Bye.